Hey, my name is Ruth and I was asked the question, what is the one thing you have learnt about being single? And I think the most important thing for me is don't waste your time longing for the things that you don't have, but pursue the life that God has planned for you. When I was nearly uh, 30 years old, I was out on a walk one day and I was just uh, praying and talking with God about my life. And I was feeling kind of dissatisfied. Um, I was feeling that life was a little bit unfair because I was saying to God, look, you know, all my friends have got married or are getting married, they're having children, um, and I'm not, I'm still single. Um, you know, what is going on? That perfect man has not showed up yet. And God's response to me wasn't about singleness or marriage. God's response to me was, Ruth, are you willing to live the life that I have designed for you? Are you willing to surrender um, your life purpose to what I have planned? And as I wrestled with that in my head and my heart, I came to the conclusion that actually the, the life that God had planned for me is going to be a whole lot better. It's going to be full of joy. Um, I'm going to experience things that I could never imagine or plan for myself. And one of my favourite verses in the Bible is when Paul is writing to the church uh, in Ephesus uh, and he says in Ephesians he says we are God's workmanship created for the things that God has planned out for us in advance and I think that's an amazing verse because firstly it kind of says we are God's masterpiece we are his workmanship we are his artwork he doesn't make mistakes when he creates us he created us to be who he wanted us to be and he planned that from the very beginning of time and he also planned those purposes and that life that he wanted us to lead, a life that honours him, a life that loves him, a life that looks at the world around us and recognises and responds to the need, a life that shares the love of who he is and who God is and what he wants to say to the world with the people around us. Uh, and being single, I've had so many great opportunities to, to live that life and to keep coming back to that point of surrender but it's not always been easy singleness can sometimes be a lonely place there are times when I'm like god it'd be really nice just to have someone um, like that to, to do life with someone at the end of the day to come home to uh, and just yeah talk about how things are but I've experienced that a life surrendered to God is a, a life full of joy and Paul in uh, Philippians talks about I've learned to be content in all circumstances. And I think that's a really great truth for our lives as single and married people, not to look at what we don't have, not to waste time um, stressing ourselves about what's not there, but actually learn to be content with all that God has for us. And I don't think Paul was just saying, hey, this is life. You know, it's good sometimes, it's bad sometimes, we just accept it. But that word, contentedness comes from knowing who he was um, in God and knowing what his purpose was in the world. So whether God took him through difficult times or whether God took him through easy times, the joy wasn't about surface happiness created by circumstance. Joy was about deep down knowing who God was, knowing the God that loved him, knowing that who he was and who God created him to be, and then living a life that responded to that. And I think that's the challenge for us singles because so often the world around us is saying you need someone else, you need to be in a, a romantic relationship or you need to be married. And there's a film, um, Jerry Maguire, it's a few decades old now, but right at the end the girl says to the guy, you complete me. And I think sometimes that's the lie that we live with um, in our lives because we feel we need someone else to make us complete. But God has designed us all uniquely and we are whole people before him as individuals. And yes, he's created us for relationship. Yes, he's created us um, to benefit from community and from friendships and all that, that he blesses us with. But if we spend our lives spending time, wasting time on thinking through what we don't have and longing for that, then we're wasting time. But if we spend our lives saying, hey God, whatever circumstance you have me in, whether I'm married, whether I'm single, whether I'm enjoying some great things in life or whether I'm facing 
um, more challenging circumstances, may I be found to be a person who pursues the purposes and the plan that you have for my life. Be blessed.